Assalamu alaikum guys, today we are going to talk about the Mijas Golf Club. Um, Mijas Golf Club is one of the most acknowledged golf complexes in Spain. It offers two high level 18 holes courses, totally different. And this is, this is it, you can see it. Located at Mijas Golf Valley by the Mediterranean Sea that bathes the coastal of Sol in Malaga at only 20 minutes away from Malaga Airport. And just 3.5 kilometers from the sea, this club is the perfect choice for the area residents as well as the large variety of national and international players that come every year to enjoy its facilities. Mijas Golf Club is a pub public golf club pay and play but it also has reduced number of yearly members most of the residents at the adjoining urbanizations the clubhouse um it's strategically located between the two courses becoming the starting and the arrival point of any player either initiating or completing the Courses. It's an Andalusian farmhouse that includes a changing rooms, the reception and the restaurant where the customers all enjoy, will enjoy the spacious terrace. Beside these facilities, it, it is the main maintenance shed where both courses maintenance works are coordinated and managed. This is the most iconic like thing of the golf course is the circle, the round circle that we can see. Which I think is also where you like when you like hit the with the bat the ball, it goes through it there as well. The Mijas Golf Club um, has the COVID nineteen protocol, so it respects all security measures and social social distance stated by the club. They avoid physical shaking etc. Staff equipped with proper protection measures like bulkheads, face masks, gloves, hydrocol hydrocolic gel. Um it also um has booking so tea times must be booked online by email or by phone. Face to face um bookings will be avoided so you can't book you have to do it from online and budgies that acute will be limited to one person so the budgies are like these little golf carts that you know you ride on to go to a golf place well that will be limited it won't be um with like friends it has to be one person or a family they will also be disinfected before and after every use by glove um, club staff only two budgies per ball the club storeroom available from opening to closure times it is not necessary to ask, necessary to ask for the key each player will use it individually in a compliance with the security and hygiene measures that's what it says and that's how they're gonna like for like the club storeroom you're not allowed to like go in a group you have to go one by one to get your stuff and the trolleys, you know where they put the bat, the club bats. They um, they will pull an electric trolleys of indi individual use will be disinfected by the club staff before and after every use. So they will disinfect the the whole trolley, and then they can give it to each person. And teams, um. There won't be that many teams, but four balls will be allowed and the social distance will be respected throughout the entire game. And equipment, players must arrive already equipped. So changing rooms will be closed. You have to have the clothes of golfing on already. So you can't like go. So while playing, um, the protocols are um, you're not allowed to touch the ball. What is the the ball washers, water fountains, benches, etc., etc., et so you won't be able to sit down. Bunkers, um, they will be re repaired by the player in the best possible way without using the rake. So the rake is like the 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 bat of golf. Um, flags, the flags on the holes will remain at its place, they cannot be touched or removed, so the flags, no one's even going to touch them, they're still going to be there.
um, the budgie bar due to the closure of the restaurant here it will be allowed to purchase drinks and snacks respect the distance of the the restaurants will be closed but there's still um a bar or not a bar maybe like um a kiosk like you call it here it's just a little shop where you still have to buy it but you can get little snacks and drinks so but you can only, only one person can access it at a time and toilets they the use will be turned based individual and they will equipped with water and soap so you don't use the same soap you use different soaps they give it to you um departures they stay um in our facilities will be limited as much as possible so like when you if you want to like live there they limit it you can't go for too long so yes um cleaning it's not allowed to clean shoes or golf clubs, so club rental will not be available. Parking, it is available to directly from the course to the parking, so you have to leave the parking five minutes after your game. And this is more of the view. So more about, about it is um, social distance shall be guaranteed. All items at the driving uh, driving range will be regularly sanitized. The payment for the server will be preferably by credit card. Golf professionals will follow the protocols during the development of their activities. Social distance, two meters must be respected and its use will be under limited capacity. The holes will have systems that, that will avoid to collect the ball it will be done with the putters um so in the holes it's electric so it'll come up by itself you don't go there to touch it the changing rooms must be closed until the instructions from health authorities so they w the changing rooms right now are closed because of the spanish government they don't allow to open it limited access to toilets by turns of one person only Toilet, toilets cleaning and disinfection will be reinforced, water and soap av available. The shop will not be open until public administration authorizes to open small trade and once the hygiene and security measures have been implemented. Um, and the restaurants will be kept closed for now under the conditions laid by the health administration and the implemented hygiene and security measures. So that's all of the um, COVID-19 protocols. So more about the Mijas Golf. It was founded in nine in nineteen seventy six. Um, the price for it is forty two euros. So it's pretty expensive. Um, it's the value of Mijas. It's the north of Venezuela, only twenty minutes away from the Valley of Keeping the original design from Robert Trent Jones, sir. The Mihath Golf was, of course, was totally refurbished in 2012. So 2012. The gentle outlines of Los Lagos course, in contrast to the stunning appearance of the our bridge ball, cannot leave any indifferent, proving that it is possible to mix tradition and innovation on the same scenery. Mijas Golf has also another course, which is Los Olivos. Both are 18 holes of course um perfect to spend a full day playing golf so the golf course La los lagos um is 
the one I was telling you about and Los Olivos, the main feature which distinguishes the course from Los Lagos is the abundance of trees, hence the name and its smaller size as well as few water hazards. So Los Olivos has less water hazards and it's smaller. The greens, the green places are smaller, it's undulating and well defended. Although both are the work of the same designer, there's no doubt there are some interesting contrasts between the two courses. So even though Los um, Olivos and Los Lagos was made by the same person, they all have they both have differences. If Los Lagos are based on hazards and water and sand, Los Olivos is strategic strategic narrow tree lined fairways and elevated greens. Los Olivos is a course best suited for players gifted with a higher technical ability and position in their games. So people who are like more um more good at the at golf would um it's better to play as Los Olivos and Los Lagos is for the people who are less but so yeah, Los Lagos is a course suitable for kind of handicap players, being one of the most famous commercial courses of the Costa del Sol. So Los Olivos, um, there's 18 holes, um, handicap ladies 36, handicap men 28, um, fee weekdays, low season is 50 euros and um, fee weekdays in high season is 78 euros or even 83 euros. The architect is Robert Trent Jones Sr., like I said. The, um, and it's all the same, like I said before. It's um, really good for the, the good players. So... Um, in the Lagos course, um, for low season, the fee is 55, and for high season, it's 90 euros, so Los Lagos is much more expensive, like the rate of Los Lagos is 7.4, and Los Olivos is 7.3. Now, we're just going across the road that is um, close to the Gulf. So these are the houses that are close by. They're really pretty as the other houses that you've seen on this YouTube channel. They're really, really nice houses. So these are just buildings, so like I'm telling you, they're just old buildings, but they're really nice and pretty buildings. They all have their own style. Hola.
though these are cars passing the toy houses, there may be, this is a nice one, there's a lot of houses passing the golf. People play golf, the people that play golf are really rich, so they live in this area, so it's really nice. Um, these are the trees, they're really nice. So how we have a lot of golf videos on our channel, um, we're gonna, um, the top five, or like a lot of them, the top um, at least ten, the first one is Sunshine Golf, the second is Santana Golf, the third is Calavana, Calanova Golf Club, the fourth is La Cala Golf, that we've done. Mijas, the fifth is Mijas Golf International, the one we're showing you right now, the one I've talked about, is fifth place in Spain. The sixth is the Chaparral Golf Club, and seventh is Mira Flores, the, another one that's in our channel. So we hope you like the world golf sequences. So it's really nice. Some people have left a lot of comments on these golf. The golf course I'm showing you is a comment, and which I'm gonna read it out to you. They said we played here last week, one round on each course. I can only honestly say I've never played a course in better condition than Los Lagos. It was absolutely incredible. Great layout, great variety of holes, and absolutely immaculate. Los Amigos was an amazing time. Layout was still very good, especially six and fourteen, which are two of the best par pars you can you'll play. We will be back. So they say that Los Lagos, ha they really liked it, but Los Olivos wasn't the best one. So if you want to go, you should go to Los Lagos. That's what they're saying. There's also a lot of um, bad comments. There's people saying that they don't like the course at all. So that's one thing. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, share. And we hope you enjoyed. We'll see you on the next adventure. Allah Hafiz.